Hey yeah, Abby's, how's it going? This is Don Aver here. Welcome to Minecraft Survival with Redstone. This is episode 60. Oh my gosh. This is episode 60 and um, today we're going to be going over item frames, pots, and anvils. Anvils was requested a couple different times, so to those that asked, thank you, because it's going to be fun. I actually think we should go over the anvils first. But anyway, uh, let's get over through our updates real quick. Um, just a few things that I went over, I did while um, while I was prepping for this. First off, I made this into a library. Our storage is gone, except for... We do still have two secret storage units, and I t turned off that third one. It's empty, but it's in there. Um, I did start working on the railway to the end so this has been started basically the tunnel is done now I just gotta get all of the um, railway in there uh, so yeah it's connected to the end it goes straight down to the portal area uh, I think it's probably gonna be like this right here is like three minutes it's gonna be the same for that one it's it's ridiculously long um, so uh, what else have I done um, so yeah, so the storage the storage is gone. So what did I do with the storage? Well, storage is in here <laughs> um, And our bedroom is in here, so um, I'll go over the storage unit in a minute uh, Well, you know what? Let's go over the item frames real quick The item frames are these these bad boys here um, They hold whatever item you put in there so uh, What I've done is if you'll notice when you open up your creative menu you see these tabs uh right here right here so you know i was figuring out everybody knows the creative mode tabs why not just put the items that are already in the creative mode in those chests so these chests are open on the cross the top but the ones on the bottom have well actually i think this one has cobble in it yeah it does i figured you know what these top ones are going to probably end up being full of of cobble since this one here technically is supposed to have nothing but like blocks and there's all kinds of different blocks that we can get so and yes Kerjack your darn gear is right there I moved it alright so we need the stuff for the item frames so let's get some sticks and some leather we're gonna need more sticks but um, so the way you make an item frame is you just basically surround it on the outside like you're doing an oven and put the piece of leather in the middle and you get yourself an item frame um, but we want more than one. I'll just do, let's just do two, because we only have enough for two. Um, and what do we want to put over here? Let's just grab, what do you, what, what is in that one? I think, is it, is it, I think it's a brick that's in that one. Uh, anyway, all right, so you place your item frame by, by left clicking, I'm sorry, right clicking, and if to put the item that you're gonna want to put in there, you just take the item in your hand and right click. So now you got yourself a item frame. The nice thing about the item frame is, is say uh, if you wanted to, you could put an item frame right next to your bed, and you were sleeping and you didn't want to keep like say you wanted to have an extra sword or something you could put your sword in it you could hit it and it's gonna pop out your sword and your item frame so you can just go to you know go go into combat right away after you've hit that frame so let's turn it for right now we'll just put that there and maybe I can get like a sword from our sword chest I think I've got one in there yeah our first sword, stone sword I'll just I'll take that first so stone sword it's probably not the first but it can it can go in our frame there so now we got a weapon all right so um, uh, uh, let's go put this stuff back um, I've created a nice chest at the end here and it has basically all the blocks and everything and I'm just gonna end up putting stuff one of each of those blocks in here so we know what's in here uh, so diamond is kept in here and yeah all right I don't remember where I had these I was organizing it to look like the, the creative thingy but yeah I'm never gonna be able to remember where any of that stuff goes so anyway <clears throat> So let's get on to our 
that's the item frames and let's do the pots actually do we have we don't have clay all right well um let me see if i can go find some clay up here in this lake i'll be right back i'll get some clay okay All right, so <clears throat> all right, so I got my clay balls. They are cooking right now, and what you need for your pots is a you need bricks, and so um, actually, I do believe we need. Say for instance, what do we want? We can put a fern. Let's put a fern. Um, how about some? How about a tree? Let's put a birch tree up, and maybe. A, we have a lot of these, so one of those. All right. So you just take. Is there one left? No. Okay. You take your um, bricks and you put them in the same fashion that you would a bucket, and that would be the same like this. So it looks just like the bucket, round and everything. Um, and we're just gonna keep creating. It looks like we don't have enough for more than two anyways. We can grab some from there. Um, but just for show and tell, we'll put one right here. Now it goes, it starts off round and it turns off square. It has a little bit of dirt in there, no big deal. Uh, let's take our fern, a miniature pine tree and put it right there. See, that is a flower pot or a pot. Uh, so, they're not really that expensive and nothing grows in them so you could put a sapling in it for instance and the sapling will not grow in there so um for looks let's put one here we'll take our birch sapling and we'll put it there that sapling will not grow it just stays that same size that whole time the whole time it's there we could have technically put it right there but um I think I think it's a one block size. Yeah, it is. So it can fit in a one block. If we were to put something right over the top of the uh, uh, right over the top of it, it would stay the same. It would stay in that one block. Oh, we can just keep getting this stuff. All right. Now for our anvil, um, I have created um, sort of a little. So as you can tell, I, I did create this huge thing here, uh, but I went even further and I just made the outside of this look nice. I started doing some more inside here and then realized I wasn't concentrating on this episode. So I stopped and I came over here and I figured, you know what, let's make ourselves a blacksmith shop. So um, uh, I figured we can go with, with some um, more bur uh, brick and and our traditional um, stone bricks. We'll even go with some cracked stone bricks as well. And so let's get started. Um, first, you want to kind of design what what goes in a blacksmith shop. You know, for instance, at the NPC village, they have a lava pit, which technically what it shows is is a hot fire, which is what we want. Um, uh, so let's concentrate. I made a nice little. Um, I made like a little storage unit so that we didn't have to keep going back and forth in there. So let's get started. I want to do like a fall, um, something that can uh, catch the lava. And you know what? Wait, what, what? Let's do this. Let's get some our iron, and maybe we can make the iron at the bottom, so like this, and connect it like this or something like that. You know. 
Hmm. Because on the NPC village, it doesn't have brick. So what if we just kept it to this and put like these here? You know? All right. And now we can take our lava and place one here and here. No, that's not what I wanted. Stop it. No. Stop it. Of course. Of course. Ah. All right. <laughs> While it's doing that, um, let's create our anvil. And your anvil is going to be made, it consists of 31 total ingots. We're going to make three anvils. I wanted to make three anvils. So. Um, it consists of 31 ingots each, and so the way that it's constructed is um, you actually want three total bricks of... Actually, I wasn't going to create three, was I? Yeah, I was. You want three total bricks of iron, so these... You need three per anvil. And so um, here, there's the one for the one anvil. Let's get this piece up here and get it spread throughout. That's uh, not spread. There we go. So there's three more. And we just need one more. And there. Okay, so now we take all this and we'll put you take your iron blocks and put them across the top. You guys probably already know how, how to do all this. But I'm just going to go over it real quick. Whoops. And you have your anvil. All right. So the anvil comes actually in three separate. Well, not three. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Do I need to tear you up? I guess I do. Um. Thank you. Come on, you lazy. Let's just do this. There, now it's contained. <laughs> it's not the way I wanted it to do. Not the way I wanted to do it, but, oh, hey, stop it. gonna die 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 thank you all right yeah this isn't the way I wanted to do it so I think let's tear down let's tear down these no come on all right see now I can flow and we can use that <clears throat> as our um, as our yeah that was whoa geez okay now we've placed the, the uh, anvil, we're gonna place two anvils, and I was thinking about leaving one, um, where was I gonna put it at? I don't remember. It was gonna be off to the side or something. Let's, let's put it right there for now. We should make a fourth and put it right there. We make some kind of, oh, wait a minute, we got, what do we got here? What if we, Yeah, and what if we did this? Oh, cool. I forgot, I was gonna tell you guys about that, that new corner thing where it, the stairs do. It looks, actually looks pretty good going right into the fire pit. All right, cool. And we do need one more anvil to put right here. So I'll have to create that later because I, that's a lot of iron and I know I have it. It's just a matter of getting to it. Now you guys saw it. It's in the and chest with the diamonds. Um, okay, so the anvil. It can get tore up. Um, let's go get... Let's get rid of this stuff. Put all this stuff back in here. Um, let's go get some stuff that we can repair. Um, all right, well... We got two, let's do got two diamond picks here. Um, I don't want to repair shears, that's just a waste. Um, 
let's do this. Those ones there, these ones here. And maybe we'll show you with the iron shovel and some iron. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, thanks to the Ender Dragon, I have 73 levels. So let's get let's get to going here. Let's get to going, going, going. Yes. Okay. Now, when you're creating, when you're doing using this, uh, when you're using the anvil, you can you can use straight up items to repair. Uh, like, like for instance, you can use uh, the same item to repair the same item. So this one here is it costs one to uh, bring back its its level, but you can also use ingots to repair it. It looks like it might be a little bit more expensive to be able to get all the way to you know where you need it at so it's three it costs three but um you know it's not too expensive i'm sure the the more i would put this the more important like for instance this is efficiency two we're going to drop that in there maybe we can drop it in with a diamond pickaxe it's not going to get full health but it's going to you know it's going to be costly to get it to to and see and it keeps the efficiency too so whatever it is that you've got in here it'll keep it and then add it together so if i were to for instance um add the power four and a power one it becomes stays the power four okay i guess all right cool but it goes all the way the to uh the best uh there is one more thing you want to um, when you're doing this make sure that the, that the um, the least damaged item is on the left side of uh, the left box so this one here so for instance if we want to um, completely repair our our power four bow we can put it in this one and it will be put over so apparently if you swap them though the, like this it's more expensive. What? Okay, well, maybe they fixed that in the 1.4.5 update. Maybe. Because it's the same exact... Well, that's good news. That's definitely good news. Okay. And, you know what? I want to name our bow. So, it's going to cost me nine levels. And... Let's call this the... The Dawn Aber Bow. Yeah. Okay, so now, as you could tell, it's way expensive for this bow. Uh, you got it, it's at 16 enchantment cost, but since I've got 73, I don't really mind, and it's mine. So now it's the Don Amber bow, and the I don't really care for the helmet, but just to show you, this is what it costs, and it's fully repaired. So now we got our um, shovel. And we can fully repair it. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to wear down this this anvil so that you guys can see. So this efficiency too. What if what if we put this in here with our other one? What'll happen? Efficiency three. Okay, that's what it was before. I don't want to use all that. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> um, what if? I think you need to have string for this. You can't just drop. It. Yeah. See. Okay. So you can't just drop any regular item in here and it repairs. That's not what happens. So I think we've. Let's take a look at the anvil. Yeah. All right. See, it's got a little bit of wear, and I think there are three or four levels of wear on this, and then I think it's like 25 uses or something to that effect, um, and then it's toasted. So it's no good. So you can tell the difference between the non-used anvil and the used anvil. Um, and you can spread it out. So we technically will have four in here and that's over a hundred changes. So definitely worth, I mean, I'm, it looks like they fixed, um, in the 1.4.5, they changed some of the stuff as far as the anvil goes. So it's not as costly to your uh, experience. Although I just did, I did just use a lot of my experience to create all that stuff, but that's no big deal because you know, anvils are actually pretty awesome. So, um, I think I'll be using these more often, especially now that I've got my Don Amberbow. Yes, Don Amberbow is legendary, and I am going to keep it now. All right. Okay, Abby's. Um, 
I think we've covered just about everything on as far as the item frames, the pots, and the anvils. Um, if you guys have any um, ideas or suggestions or maybe comments or any kind of questions that you might have, and what I'm going to try to do is stop answering them in the in, in the comments, and I'll start answering them in the videos so everybody can see it. I sh I'm sure everybody already sees it now. It's just that um, you know it's only fair, and I get a better give you guys a better explanation of what's going on and everything. Um, I I'm hoping to find Kerjack. Uh, he did break his laptop. Um, or he didn't break his laptop. The laptop broke. Um, something about the motherboard and RAM or something like that malfunctioned, and he had to get that replaced. So it's like 300 and some odd dollars or something like that, and it takes a lot to replace a motherboard and a laptop. So um, he should be back soon, and we'll be able to get some tech it going. I do think that we're going to be get, doing some build it this weekend, um, so that we can get that up and going. I'll try and catch up with. See the last one that we did. Um, I didn't record the audio because it requires for me to do is I have to um, with a Mac and Skype. You can't just hit record on your recording software and it records all you know all audio like the PC does. With Skype on a Mac, you have to have a separate recording software that hits that that works with Skype and sometimes I forget to hit record on that little window because it's really small and I have a huge screen and I just completely miss it every time when I go on to record and I forgot. So um, if you, if you want to see those Build It episodes, they're actually over at Llama Weird's website or his channel. Um, I, I encourage you to go over there and take a, take a look at him. It's a lot of good stuff. He does, um, um, I think he, he's even got a playlist for it. So if you wanted to watch him in sequence of, uh, he, he's got him. Uh, playlist and I think that he's got them numbered the same as mine. So, like I'm not I, th I can't remember if it's ten, eleven, and twelve or something like that. But um, what I'll do is the next one that I do on the build it is I'll just start off at like thirteen or something. So that way you know the missing ones are over at Llama Weird's um, channel, and we'll just keep it at that because my audio just didn't work. So, all right, guys. Well. It was great. I had a lot of fun. I, I'm really looking forward to finishing it. Well, actually, I think I got all my stuff now. I think all my stuff is in here, and I look forward to filling this area up. And I'm I'm not going to organize it just like the inside. Like, for instance, these are just like the creative. Um, but I think I'll just be throwing stuff in there from now on. I'm not going to be able to tell. I'll just be able to tell what goes in each one. But, yeah. Anyway, all right. So, guys, um, I'll be looking forward to your comments and, and uh, your ideas because I... I really like enjoy. I really enjoy building what you guys come up with. So um, we'll see you guys next time. Get creative. <laughs>